Whether under sunny skies, warm tungsten lights, or cool LEDs, every videographer must know how to light their subject. Hi, I'm Jonathan E, and I'm the creative director for SGTV, and welcome to our Budget Film School. In this episode, we will be going over fundamental lighting setups. For a two-point lighting setup, you need three things, your camera and two lights. One of these lights will act as our key light, and the other will act as our fill light. The key light is the main source of light that illuminates your subject. The fill light is often a softer light, and its purpose is to reduce the harsh shadows cast by the key light. For a two-point setup, position your subject in front of the camera in a direct line. Choose a side to place the key light off to the side of the camera so that the light is hitting your subject directly. Don't forget to yell striking before turning on any lights in front of a subject. Striking. Place your fill light in the mirrored position on the other side of your camera to lighten the shadows on your subject's other side. You can use lights on light stands, natural light, or a mixture of the two in order to get the feel that you're looking for. If you use natural light, I'd recommend finding something to act as a reflector or a bounce in order to have more control over the image. Three-point lighting is very similar to two-point lighting, but now there's a new light that we're going to call the backlight. As you can imagine, the backlight is positioned behind your subject, and it produces a rim of light that goes around the silhouette of your subject, providing additional depth to your image. For a three-point lighting setup, you're doing basically the same thing as the two-point lighting setup, but now with the backlight. Adjust the positions, angles, and intensity of the lights in order to get it just how you want. As mentioned in the last episode, there are no hard set rules about the angles and positions of your setup. Experiment with the lights that you're able to use and find all the effects that can better convey the message you're trying to get across to the audience. When you have the setup that you like, you should write it down. Mark the position you want down in your space or in a notebook with all the setup details you used for the scene. This will make it easier to recreate if you are reusing the same shot over and over again or if you have to split shooting between different sessions. It's like cooking. At some point, you're gonna to have to learn how to do it by feel, but right now, you've got a pretty good baseline. I've only got one exercise this episode, but in doing it, it will make you a master at setting up two and three point lighting. The first step is to find some lighting sources not made for film. Lamps, flashlights, candles, screens. Then, try to get a well-illuminated shot using a two point or three point setup with only what you're able to find. I've always believed that creativity comes from working around limitations, so just go out there and try it out. And I hope that you're able to take some fantastic photos and videos using these setups. If you know someone interested in making video content, send them over to youtube.com slash sgtvcreative to be on the lookout for the next episode of The Budget Film School. Also remember to follow our social media pages for announcements on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, I wish you well, and always remember to be creative.